So good morning everyone. What we want to do this morning is uh, we want to go and look for some pheasants or Franklin with uh, my dog Simba. She is half uh, pointer and half uh, hound so she's got kind of good ears. But you'll also notice uh, when, we, when we're hunting that she doesn't work too close to me and she doesn't always hold her point but she's really good on birds, finds them really well. So uh, we're going to be working through these areas over here, some woodland and some open grassland areas. Uh, to pick out a few uh, species hopefully. Let's see what we can get. It's uh, the start of our bird season so we've got to make sure that our uh, shotgun eye is in. We'll definitely have some misses but it's a lot of fun. In my belt over here you can see underneath my jacket I've got an assortment of uh, shots ranging from five, six and seven and a half so I'll be changing through depending uh, where we're walking and what uh, kind of birds we seem to be flushing. Alright let's go and have a look. Beautiful, beautiful Franklin. This is what you call a cokey Franklin. Nice little spurs on him. That's a wonderful bird to train your dog on because they sit still in the grass. You could see back there, almost stood on them before the whole covey jumped up. And uh, once they get in there, they're really tough to shoot because they zigzag through the trees. That's a cokey Franklin. All right, that'll be some good eating. Come. <laughs> Number one, Crested Franklin. But yeah, beautiful specimen. Very, very pretty, these Crested Franklins. Look at those colorations. Right, let's find the rest. That was cool. Have a look at that. That's a male crested Franklin. Look at those spurs. Beautiful male. Have a look at that. So we've gotten two out of this covey now. I think that's okay, we'll move on to the next one. There were about six birds in total, but we've taken two of this covey, I think that's good. Two beautiful setups and uh, two fun shots. I missed, uh, I missed my second barrel on the first round, but made up for it with this quick shot. So let's go find some more. One drop, right? Yes. Swainson Spurfile. Right in that. Dove, that'll be a good table fare. Let's go and see if we can find some more. That's 
is off of that uh, last bird and we just wanted to come and follow up see if she couldn't point him again look at that big old buffalo bull standing right there we'll turn around over here This is what we call a Swainson's Franklin or a Swainson's Spur Fowl. Look at those spurs. Beautiful old male list. When they take off, they make a lot of noise and they, they trick you to shoot. Once they get up off the grass, they absolutely rock it downwind. Really good eating. I can't wait for our game bird, uh, either pie or stir fry. They make really good eating. Quick on the trigger, second one came out, hit him perfect. Beautiful, beautiful hen. Look at that coloration. Swainson spur fowl. All right, one dove down. A little dove down. These are tricky to shoot on the wing, but yeah. Great to add with the uh, with the pheasant pies. Now the Swainson's Franklin. That's where it helps to have a dog. She uh, spotted them, and then we had one runner. It was a little bit of a long shot, but uh, tried it in any case. Great. Let's see if we can find one more before sunset. It worked very well today. Like I said early this morning. She works well finding them. She doesn't always hold her point and she generally works a little bit further away from you. That's just the hound genetics in her, but she's got a, she's got a really good uh, bird nose on her. And finding the, the shot birds, she works excellent. So all in all a great dog. I mean, blood tracking, I'm sure many of you have seen, it's just works absolutely great. So another great dog. There we go, guys. Uh, we see a beautiful afternoon. We got some wonderful Swainson's Franklin. The dog worked absolutely beautiful. The wind kind of died down, which made for some uh, good uh, scent for the dog. And you can see over here, we've got some beautiful Swainson's Franklin. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and get them skinned up. And uh, we're going to go and make a beautiful game bird pie this evening. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoy the footage. We've got some really good ones. We've got the cooked pheasant's breast and we've actually got a dove breast in here as well. The dark breast that looks like this. That makes excellent pie too. I'm going to chop the meat into cubes and I'm going to add two tablespoons of margarine and fry the onions together with the garlic. Okay, once the onions are nice and fried up, we're going to go in with two tablespoons of flour and just after that we're going to add two cups of milk We're going to go in a 200 degree preheated oven for roughly 20 minutes until the pie crust is nice and brown. Pheasant and one dove breast <laughs> pie all done. Lovely and brown and now it's time for dinner.